ready for some Halloween DIYs. Today I put together some really cute, easy, and adorable Halloween DIYs Dollar Tree items. Let's start off with the first one. What you're going to need is some Dollar Tree contact paper and a wood round. Dollar Tree just came out with these cute little broomsticks. And I'm going to be using three different color meshes from Dollar Tree and a witch kit. This is like for a wreath, but we're going to use it a different way. I'm also going to use one of these little cute wood wicked signs from Dollar Tree. So I'm going to start off by painting this wicked sign and I also grab these from Dollar Tree. They're so cute. It comes with the witch's hat and the witch's shoes. So I wanted to replace the witch's hat. So I'm just going to cut that little tip off. So I'm just going to snap it right off and now the little witch hat will fit right over it. It's going to be so stinking cute, but I need to paint the wicked sign first. So I'm going to start off by painting with this tanzanite purple color and just going to do one quick coat. Now because the purple color looks kind of plain to me, I wanted to add some polka dots. So I'm just taking the back end of a stick and dip it in the lime green color. Just adding a few little polka dots. I'm also going to do that with the black paint as well. Now the Wicked Sign's all dry. I'm going to take that little witch hat, take the backing off because it's pretty sticky. And I'm going to place it right over that wood piece witch's hat and this is so cute gives you an idea what you can do with them because um dollar tree carries them and it comes like in a little package and you get quite a few of them now i'm going to take the little witch's shoes and do the same thing place it at the bottom of the little wicked sign i already placed down the contact paper on that wood round um, if you don't like this contact paper, you can always use Dollar Tree has so many different selections. Now I'm going to take the little witch's legs and I'm going to cut them because I need to stuff them with some polyfill. Now if you don't have polyfill, you can also check and see if you have any old pillows or you can use tissue paper. Now I'm just going to hot glue the end so the polyfill doesn't fall out and then I'm going to place them behind the little wood ground with some glue and attach them that way. This gives you an option what you can do with these really cute which they also have the boo sign, the Frankenstein. You don't have to make a wreath out of them if you're not a wreath maker. I'm just giving you an option what you could do with them besides you know making wreaths and I think this really came out really cute. Now I'm going to take that witch's hat and just cut off that little black string that's all around the witch's hat. And then I'm going to place it right on the wood round with some glue at the top. Such an easy project and it comes out so adorable. Now I'm going to grab the wicked piece and I'm do the same thing. I'm just going to place it in the middle of the wood round. And I didn't like the witch's hat. The part where it has the little yellow and purple. I removed that and just make a cute little bow out of the mesh material. Now I'm just going to place it right on top of the witch's hat. All I did was take three pieces and cut little strips and then twist it together with a white planer. And look how cute it looks. It looks so much better this way. It gives it a lot of color and I love the way this came out. Very simple and easy to make guys. Now I'm going to take that little witch's broomstick and remove the little bow that's on it because I don't like it. <laughs> Just going to make a little bow out of the mesh material. I'm just going to cut a few strips, place them together, and just tie it off with a little piece of the black string. Because the broom is a little bit too long for the sign, I do trim it down. Um, I trim down the stick part and then the front part of the broom just to make it a little bit smaller. Now I have the bow made. I'm just going to hot glue it right on top of the little broom. I'm just going to hot glue down the broomstick to the wood round and look how adorable this came out. Now you can hang it I place a little bit of a jute twine behind it so this way I can hang it on the wall and there you have it adorable little Halloween decor.
For this one, you're going to need some signs from Dollar Tree. I grabbed two because my intention was to use the smaller pieces of the signs. I'm also going to be use a little bit of round styrofoam, and I have the hula skirt from Dollar Tree. So because the front of them have glitter and they would be hard to sand and I'm going to be using the back end of the, the signs. So it's just going to pull them apart right now and I'm going to use one of the sticks and that's what I'm going to use for the stand for the broom. Now what I ran into once I started painting to orange, I did not like the orange. Not only that, but the wood sign itself was kind of damaged and you can actually see the damage even though I tried to sand it down the best I could. But you'll see as I go, I'll show you exactly what I did. So I'm going to paint two black and two orange. But like I said, the two orange are damaged. I go ahead and grab one of the bigger wood pieces and I paint that with a lighter orange. So I end up just using three. So here are the three that are finished drying and I'm just going to start writing out some words and I'm going to use a black marker on the orange and then for the black signs I'm going to use the white marker. Now I just came up with some sayings randomly. I don't have the best handwriting but I want to show you that you can do this without a Cricut. So one's going to say Witch's Way, one will say Toad Way, and then the last one I'll say broomstick lane. Now all I'm going to do is just glue them down onto the post. And like I said, I only use three. And then we're going to make the bottom part of the broom with the hula skirt. So I want to place down this little witch hat. I'm just going to take the backing of the witch hat off and place it right at the top where it says Witch's Way. Now I don't have a toad so I decided to use these rub-ons from Dollar Tree and just cut out the little bird, the raven, and I'm just going to place it where it says Toad Way. Now I need something to place the post into, so I grabbed the styrofoam, but I didn't want to paint it, so I'm just grabbing some black fabric, and I'm just going to place it right over the top with some glue. Now I'm going to place the styrofoam right on top of the piece of wood round that I had, because I need some weight to hold the broom, because the styrofoam is obviously too light to hold it, so I'm just going to place it right on top. I need to create a little slit in the middle of the fabric so I can place the post in between it so it can get to the styrofoam. So I'm just using my X-Acto knife. Now I'm going to take that hula skirt and I'm just going to wrap it around the post. And you can see that it has string already attached to it, which makes it a lot easier to wrap it around the post. So I'm just going to put a little glue in the back to hold it in place and then start wrapping it around. Now I'm grabbing some white rope and I'm going to place that right around the hula skirt and this is going to hold it in place so I'm just going to keep going around and around until I get it to the way I like it. I'm just going to glue the remaining part of the string to the back of the post. Now you can see that's really, really long, so obviously I'm going to need to cut it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start trimming down the hula skirt. I also added some fairy lights at the end underneath the hula skirt. Now you don't have to do that, but I thought it looked really cute that way. And that's basically it. It's very easy to make, very budget friendly, and this is how it turned out. For 
this one you're going to need a Dollar Tree frame and these are car decals. These are so cute. They also have the ghost. It said boo on it. I got that as well. This is really an easy DIY. All I'm going to do is you can replace the backing with some white cardstock, but I decided I wanted the background to be gray. Some white cardstock from Hobby Lobby and I'm just going to show you what it looks like with the white background in case you you don't have any other color craft paper. Now I'm just going to place the decal right over the glass. It's sticky, so you don't really need any adhesive or anything like that. This is what it looks like with a white background, but like I said, I wanted the gray background. This material I took off one of Dollar Tree's skeletons, just the cloth that was hanging over the top. And I'm just gonna use the backing of the frame as a guide and just cut out a piece of that fabric. Put everything back together, place that fabric behind the frame and I decided I wanted to add lights. So that's what I did. I grabbed some red lights from Dollar Tree and all I'm gonna do is lay it in the back and then place the backing right over it. And it gives it that really creepy effect. I mean, this is optional, but I just wanted to take it to another level. And it's a really easy DIY and this is how it turned out. this one we're going to take some flowers. I was going to use these pretty roses but I decided not to. So I'm going to grab the skull that I got from Dollar Tree. These are the new ones. They have that black felt fabric on it and I have a little uh, wood piece that I'm going to use for the skull. First thing I wanted to do is I wanted to paint the skull. I didn't like it just all black. I wanted it to be like a wine color. So I just mixed a couple reds together with a little bit of black. So I'm just going to do a part of the face that color. So I wanted the skull to have a hat, so I picked these up from uh, Dollar Tree. And they're cute as is, but it didn't match the color of the skull, so I'm just going to repaint it with the same color, wine color. Let's give it one quick coat. And then I'm going to add some glitter, um, add some purple, white, and black, mix it together. So I want to add a flower to the hat, so I'm grabbing a Dollar Tree red, not red, black rose and I'm just going to hot glue it to the side of the hat. I'm also going to add this little black piece that came off one of the Dollar Tree floral. Just going to hot glue it to the side of the hat where the flower is. I wanted my skeleton to look very distinguished, <laughs> so I'm, I'm giving him a fancy hat. I also added some purple and black roses from Dollar Tree to the bottom of the base. So I went ahead and put the skeleton on that little wood piece that I have. I just cut a little hole in the back of the skull and place it right over the hole. Now I'm just going to place the hat right on top of the skeleton and look how cute it is. But I wanted to add a little feather um, and a bat. I like to add a lot of things to my stuff. 
um, after the fact, <laughs> but I think it came out really different. Um, Dollar Tree does have other skulls. They have, um, I think they had a brown one, but I like this one, the black one, the best. So I'm adding the feather to the side and did add a spider on his face and that's pretty much it and this is how it turned out. This is the last DIY. All you need for this one is a book. This was already pre-painted black for my last uh, video. And I'm going to use some clay from Dollar Tree. And I made that eye. If you want to know how I made that, I can make a little video. Um, but I didn't show it in this particular video because I already made it. I'm also going to use the Dollar Tree caulk as well. So the first thing I want to do is I want to form the skin that goes around the eye because I want this to look like a dragon book. So I'm just forming that clay into like an eyelid and then I'm going to place it on the book. This project is very easy to do. Anybody can do this project. So what I'm doing now is just get an idea of how big an uh, eyelid I need to make to cover that whole entire eye. That eye came out really good. Like I said, if you guys want to see how I made it, I can make a separate one. So now I have it formed. It's going to place it on the book. Um, when I placed it on the book, I realized it was just too low. And I eventually move it up a little bit. But when I moved it up a little bit, I forgot to angle it. But it still comes out really cute. So I placed the eye inside it and just forming it around and making sure it stays on the book and I will place another layer around the top like I said this is really easy guys it's not complicated um, so I'm just gonna take another piece of that clay and you can pretty much see what I'm doing just forming the eye itself the eyelid or the corners of the eye I don't know what you want to call it but I call it the eyelid inside corners of the eye but for the eye how I made it you, normally you use nail polish, but I didn't have the nail polish colors. So what I did was I just used acrylic paint. And that's basically it. And then to get that really an iridescent color inside, you just kind of scrape the paint and then you put layers over it. Like I said, if you guys are interested, let me know. So now I'm going to start making the dragon scales. I was going to place this inside that bag, but I decided I don't think it was going to work because it was quite hard to get it out as it was. So all I'm going to do is go up and down motion to my desired liking. And like I said, to try to make uh, dragon scales or whatever you want to call what's on the dragon. And that's all I'm going to do on the book. And after I did this, my hand was killing me. It was really hard to get it out. You can see how I'm struggling, squeezing it. <laughs> I don't know why I had the whole extremely large too. So I'm not quite sure why I was having a hard time getting it out. But anyways, um, that's basically it. Then you're going to let this dry for 24 hours because believe me, even though I came back, it still was slightly soft. So once I'm done, I'm going to let it dry overnight. Now it's dry, I'm going to start painting it with some black paint. Just taking a sponge brush and just going up and down motion. You can see it's still slightly soft, but it's still workable. So I'm just going to go and completely paint the entire book with the black paint and this is such an easy project anybody can do this uh, with the exception with the eye you know you can use anything from Dollar Tree you can actually uh, print out a eye image and place it in the middle you, there's so many other options
I'm just going to finish the final touches inside the eye area and just go over that clay color with the black paint. And this is the final product. This came out so amazing. I love this DIY. That's it for this video guys thank you so much for joining me today and i really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe till next time guys i will see you take care everyone bye bye